Um, well said. Enough about those guys. We need to discuss someone who's uh, you know truly talented in what they do. I think I someone, know someone who is a uh, you know a craftsman. Someone uh, who is just a really incredible, doing incredible things for yeah. for the world. And that is M. Lazary. Okay, I was wrong. Yeah, I don't know where you thought this was going, but we're going to M. Lazary territory. Have you seen... This guy is all over the talk. He is the talk of the town, you could say. Um, have you seen... Uh, Stinky Poopy, have you, have you seen this guy? Have you, do you know about him? Are these uh, what I think they are? These are fleshlights. These are custom-made fleshlights. You see Thomas the Train here. This one is like yeah. a cherry pie or something. Um, what is it? Is this lamp? Is oh, this one? fuck. Is it? Is the lamp one? Thought I'd make you my oh, guess. Oh, it is one. Oh, my God. Treat you with, treat you with something from my personal collection. <laughs> Light up the <laughs> runway. <laughs> far as I know, this is the only one in existence. So this is M. Lazary. He makes custom fleshlights and sells them on eBay. Um, hey, was I your... Is that your correspondent on the grounds to find this man? You were actually, yeah. You, uh, I, they, he'd popped up on there before. Oh my god, it's the talking fish one. No way, dude. It's a Billy, <laughs> Billy Bass. Are you looking at his like Instagram or something? Yeah, he's he doesn't have a talk anymore. His talk is gone. But wow, this is unreal. What is a talk? TikTok. Oh, TikTok. The Got talk? it. What Ever heard of it? When you said the talk, I thought Whoopi Goldberg and uh, <laughs> like, on the talk, talk, dude. Oh my goodness! Like this on the me, talk, you know? This makes me feel some kind of way. Like the. I feel like I feel like Killian would have a lot to say about this. <laughs> I feel like he'd be like our industry expert for this. Thought I'd make you my <laughs> he's guest. Our, he's our foreign guest. Light up the runway with something from my personal collection, dude. As far as I know, what this is, is the this only one in existence. Is that like a this is the extremely a rare Lumaire. Ma oh, man. The fucking... Oh, yeah, the sink drain one. That one's nice. I like the Monsters University one. Oh. This, dude, this dude needs to go to horny jail. If anybody needs to go, he does. This guy needs to be fucking bonked into <laughs> fucking infinity. Oh, my gosh. There's so many. The fucking Mater. The Mater Bater. That one's great. This one's a foot of some sort, like a toe. It's actually like, <laughs> it's pretty impressive. It's very like they're very detailed. I don't know how he does this. Like, how do he has? He has, he has extraordinary talent. Like, <laughs> he really it's, does. it's so it's so interesting to channel this much fucking talent in something. <laughs> it is impressive. <laughs> like you know, he, it's it's a classic tale, right? successful companies individuals they find something that they're very good at and they capitalize on it somehow this guy discovered that he was a fucking mastermind a genius in the art of producing custom fucking made flash or fleshlights and uh wow so i'm scrolling through his instagram here i've gotten pretty far back and i don't see the fleshlights anymore and I'm starting to think that maybe there was a starting point. Like a fucking, what is this? Oh, a suck off hater sign? That's pretty cool. It almost seems like he's an artist and he just found, he just struck gold with something. It's definitely something that you have to be very good at. Yeah. Or you're just not going to like, people are going to probably not like you. If you did this shit and it wasn't good, guys, I'm actually like, you'd probably get like your shit deleted. <laughs> like Instagram would just be like, "Yeah, you're really fucking bad at this, and it's disgusting." So mm -hmm. you're out of here. Yeah, this. Uh, so the first one that I'm seeing, also he's based out of Austin, Texas. So there you go. The first one that he posted on Instagram was in April, April first, twenty twenty, the Bugs Life one. And he's like, I'm super yeah. excited about this fucking lightly worn, gently used <laughs> fucking Bugs Life flashlight. Do not that's, sleep that's on this one. Could be yours for $2,000. Unreal. 
And then it just <laughs> from there. He this did an interview with Vice. What? Of course he did. Of course he did. Oh, there's this so many. Oh, yeah. This is just. You know, the Island Boys get famous for being goofballs, but this guy gets famous because he's a talented individual and he's found something that he's super good at and he's capitalized on it. Like, this is just remarkable what we're witnessing here. God, they're horrifying. Absolutely terrifying. The Bonkers can of beer that's called Fisters. Yeah, that one's great. Love that. <laughs> I also love that he, like, posts a picture of him standing, like, up to it. Like, he's about to just use it. Yeah. Like, to give an idea, like, a sense of scale. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that's, uh, that's just amazing. I would love to meet, I, I think I'd like to meet this guy. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I would like to talk to him. Maybe we can get him on on Cup of Joe. Maybe we can Take get him. On Say, hey man, what's what's the deal here? What's going on? What goes through your mind? How do you come? What like? Where do you get your inspiration? I just want to know what the process is. Is he like just? Is he going out and finding these, buying these on the fucking black market? Is he going to auction houses? Like, how is he getting this stuff? How in the world? You know? So. Okay. He's a curator of fine products. He's like, uh, what's the guy in Guardians of the Galaxy? The freaking uh, collector or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wasn't that, like, the guy who played him? Wait, who? Didn't, like, Benicio? Yeah, Benicio Del Toro played him. Yeah. Or... It was that guy. All right, last one here. 